Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a look with just drugstore products. I hope you enjoy this video. This is the finished look. If you want to see how I did this look, please continue watching. That looks a bit funny. <laughs> Done one but not the other. What I like to do is to just brush through with the spoolie. You'll notice I'm a bit like red here. I went to the beach yesterday and I got burnt just in some spots like even a bit here and my nose has some spots what can you do so what I'm using is I'm using two products right so one is the elf eyebrow kit I don't I don't know what it's called it, all it says on the back is dark <laughs> um, it comes with this little um, like brush double sided brush I'm just going to use this kind of pointed side and I'll just outline my eyebrow it's so different to what I normally use so I don't know how the eyebrows are holding up But this, I've used it before and it's actually been like, alright. The powder, I'm not going to be using the one in this because that is too light for my eyebrows. I'm using a Nude by Nature eyeshadow. It's the darkest colour they have in their range, so I'm just going to be using another brush like this, just to fill it in a bit. This eyeshadow wasn't that expensive, so if you actually are looking for a good um, powder, for your eyebrows this is good I usually use um, eyeshadows find it works kind of the same the eyebrows filled in and what I'm going to put on top another drugstore brand is Maybelline they have this brow drama like it's a sculpting brow mascara so it's like a mascara for your eyebrows and I'm just gonna brush through my eyebrows this will just help them stay in place throughout the day hey there <laughs> okay so next up is eyes so we'll prime my eyelids with the fit me by maybelline i love maybelline as a drugstore product i think it's just really good so oh yeah that's beautiful work of art i reckon i should just leave it like this what do you think with a damp beauty blender look how big it is wow that just got real big Sorry, an eyelash just fell out. To set that, I'll be using the Fresh and Flawless Australis. Um, yeah, that's a that's a problem. This is important to do so that your eyeshadows actually blend well. Also, sorry if you can hear the aircon. It is currently. Let me check. It was 35 degrees when I woke up. And I was like, <laughs> no, thank you. So, look at it now. 37. Wow. Wow. Guess who's staying inside the whole day? This is from Chi Chi, as you can probably see. It's the OMFG palette using this but as you can see it's a real colorful one i should have got a more like normal colored one but the time that i got this i was wanting more colorful colors so 
I'm going to cheat a bit. I think in here can be a transition colour. So I'll be using the Too Faced Natural Matte. Just for one colour. Okay. I think I'm going to use... This one? It's called Nudie. I have hooded eyes I need to blend it up I'm using in my crease the color right here it doesn't say the colors on the back so I can't give you like the name of it but yep it's like a pointed oh focus a pointed uh, kind of crease brush so. so this will just go in the crease Make sure you blend it with um, the transition. Don't get rid of the transition colour, but just blend it. Right? Should blend nicely like so. And it doesn't matter if you bring it out a bit because um, later when you clean it up, it'll be fine. Next colour I will be using, and this will be on my lid colour. I'm not doing a cut crease or anything, it's just I'm just going to blend it through. This colour. Okay, I'm just going to put that. I actually really like this um, palette. Like, it does take a bit to, like, with some colours, it takes a bit to actually get. The product on but once it's on it's really nice and it is very pigmented like for a drugstore brand I didn't expect it to be as pigmented as what it is so on and done the other eye and I'm also just cleaning up underneath and just on the sides a bit with just some makeup remover and just a little cotton Pad. Now I'm going to put on some eyeliner. Because I have hooded eyes, I only put on a little bit. The Maybelline Master Precise. And I'm just going to do a thin line. So much easier to do this side because I'm left-handed. Going to have to cheat again. Big score, drug score drugstore mascara ran out so I'm just going to be using the benefit roller lash I do have the smaller one so this one is cheaper I use this to prep my eyes for my lashes now the lashes I'm using I actually can't remember where I got them from it was off this like app and they're really cheap um, I'm just gonna try them today I haven't tried them but I'll try them so I'll put them on and I'll get back to you so this is them they went on pretty well um, they were like they have a really thick band which is really good because that helps to put it on and yeah so I'm pretty happy with them my hair tie where is my hair tie moving on to primer it's elf illuminating primer it's just like I just put glitter on my face I think oh wow yep it's like I'm putting highlight all over my face put a bit of pore eraser all over my face because I just love it and I just feel like my makeup um, looks better oh, that's so wow I love this it's like clear okay just had to go get my foundations I'll be using once again the fit me matte porcelain because I said in my last video most of my foundations are too dark for me okay and this one is this is the Remmel 25 hour lasting finish so it's a full coverage foundation just went everywhere Alright then. Oh, I just got it in my hair. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, uh, this one. It's too hot for makeup today, but I do it. I do it for the tube. Just want to make sure that we are covered. 
covered. Go on, thirsty. Back in with the Fit Me Maybelline and conceal my whole face and I'll get back to you once I've done that because y'all probably already know where you put concealer. Alright, a bit here, a bit here, a bit here, here, here. Hello. God, that's messy as. <laughs> Kidding. I'll get back to you once I've done that. The powder that I will be using again is the Fresh and Flawless Astra Astra Astralis, which I used earlier. So I'll just be using that to um, set underneath my eyes and also um, apply all around my face. Again, such a cheap product, but such a good product. It actually provides um, more coverage. Believe it or not, like I'm so surprised. Okay, so that just goes underneath my eyes. And I also, it's, it's, I have, it's especially important to set underneath your eyes when you're gonna put eyeshadow there, otherwise the eyeshadow will not blend out and underneath the eyes somewhere where you kind of need to blend out. Okay, brush, this brush was in the sun and it's warm. That actually feels really nice. Now, underneath my eyes, I actually don't know what colour to do in with what I used uh, in my crease colour. Smudge it down a bit. We can just love it when a brush you were using just disappears off the face of the earth. This is a double-sided brush and it's here. This is the one I was actually looking for. Wow, someone is just not in it today. Hate that when you're doing your eyes and then you find that you've got like gunk. Like wow. Oh, it's still there. Don't ruin my makeup. It keeps on going, I'm hot. And then it just turns off. The um, inner corners of my eye, I'm just gonna use this. It kind of looks like a highlight kind of colour. Just you know, to add a little bit of sparkle, sparkle. So again, it's the roller lash because I don't have a drugstore mascara. So I'm going to be using, and I'll also be using this for highlight as well, is Maybelline Master Bronze Palette. Um, this one I think will look nice. The bronzer is nice. Just using this brush. I love bronzer. I love it more than contour. When you do sorry I, I get distracted by birds and i just saw birds outside my window and i was like bird a bird not a professional so if it doesn't look that good i'm sorry all right i'm trying my best <laughs> blend it out a bit too that makes it look more natural i'm gonna use um the essence this is a matte touch blush this is really cheap, very pigmented too, you know, like a stripple brush. So highlight is from this um, pack as well. It's nice, it's very subtle. Turned off again, but this was in the colour BLG17. This is the butter gloss. So this is the look, but we need to put on some setting spray to make sure that it lasts all day. So this is the Insta Fix and Go. This, this can also be used as a primer, but I use it as a setting spray. It kind of smells nice too, this one. Beautiful. So this is the finished look from today. wraps up this video I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have found some possible products that you can buy they are cheap the most expensive thing here is probably 10 20 not 10 20 dollars I hope you enjoyed this video please remember to like and subscribe to my channel I will see you in my next video bye thanks for watching